from Southern Michigan Bank and Trust, Jackson Market President John Waldron and Senior Vice President Bill George. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show. Bart, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Have a nice holiday so far? <clears throat> uh, yeah, we were just yeah. talking about that. Uh, great handful of days and back to work. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. So I hadn't seen you in a suit for a while, so I wondered if it still fits. <laughs> I wondered. I wondered, Bart, but yeah, it, it fits. <laughs> so this past year, a uh, big year of change for both of you uh, professionally and, and really for the company now that you're with, Southern Michigan Bank Trust, expanding into the Jackson area actually creating the Jackson market, which you, which you head up. What's the, um, what's the progress of the bank's expansion into the market, John? Good question. We're getting, we're getting that a lot, Bart. <laughs> um, we're, we're making pretty good progress. We have, um, we have a branch space that we've leased in the 200. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful building. The, the individuals that developed uh, that site there did a great job. And we've taken about, <clears throat> 3,000 square feet and some change, which will be a branch. We'll start build out January, mm -hmm. been developing it. And uh, we're also on the top floor where the post office is. Um, fourth floor there, that's our loan production office. That's where Bill and I, 6,000 square feet we've been hanging out. Oh, wow. Putting, <laughs> putting green and working on, uh, working on our game here in the winter time. But, but um, we'll start renovating that in January as well. Now, both those uh, locations uh, are downtown office uh, footage, square fo uh, footage, and, uh, but you need the place where people will be able to uh, run in, uh, drive up, and that's in the f future plans too, isn't it? We, I believe it was just last week, we, um, we closed on the purchase of four acres on the corner of Weatherwax and Horton Road. and. Um, That'll give us room to build and build exactly what you just said, somewhere um, convenient, um, highly visible. That corner is, uh, you can see it all the way, almost all the way down Weatherwax. You see that corner and both ways on Horton Road. So um, we know that's a great area uh, for a branch, uh, having experience uh, opening a branch right across the street. Um, <clears throat> that will be uh, that'll be a great addition. Good location. Yeah. So um, this is a map of all the locations of the Coldwater headquartered bank and the three future locations in Jackson. Yeah. That's for uh, uh, expansion. That th have three three locations. Uh, that's that's uh, it makes a statement, doesn't it? It does make a statement. The uh, executive management there. Um, they've wanted into Jackson for a long time and and when they came in it was a pretty quick decision. We toured a handful of properties and uh, they said they said let's go sign the leases for the brick and mortar downtown and then the vacant land came up and I think we looked at it one day and had some <laughs> uh, some discussion on okay what's the traffic count and and what's the population that will serve here versus other locations and move forward quite quickly to, uh, to, to get a purchase agreement done and, and get it closed it's pretty quick. It seems to me that uh, part of the decision making of Southern Michigan Bank Trust to expand in the Jackson market had to do with uh, the people that they selected to, to head the ex ex expansion Really, a, a, a bank and, and, the, and the people of the bank are essentially the, the, main, app, the main asset the bank has is, is your, your team, right? It's, it's, it's the people and, and how, how, well, how well of a team you can put together. You know, Bill and I are here, and then we have five more individuals that uh, have come aboard. And we've posted for a branch manager, and we'll get that filled in January, and then we'll start building out a customer service uh, teller group. Uh, a lot of your um, personally um, banking uh, 
activity is in uh, lending, commercial lending in particular. Will this bank have a retail uh, focus as well? <clears throat> yeah, we started with commercial. That's what we've done for, gosh, a combined 50 years, I think, in this town. We've been bankers <laughs> for a combined 60. And, uh, you're, you're not even 50. Uh, yeah. It's gray. <laughs> it's definitely north of 50. <laughs> but uh, we have hired a mortgage lender, an outstanding mortgage lender, and uh, an individual named Brandy Titus. She will serve the Jackson area, plus a couple other markets. And then we, we currently have retail staff in, in Hillsdale and in uh, Battle Creek and Marshall that can help with retail lending needs here. But the manager that we hire here will be able to do consumer lending. So it's, it's your traditional consumer or uh, commercial banking, consumer, <coughs> commercial, residential, and then wealth. We were talking about wealth management when we a, a little bit ago. We do have a gentleman from um, a Jackson native in our wealth management department. His name is Buzz Leach. He went to uh, Northwest High School, and mm. he is uh, extremely impressive. He's a featured speaker, a lot of tax seminars and um, tax strategy planning sessions across the state. And so um, to have someone of his caliber in Jackson advising uh, people on their, their assets and how to grow their wealth, um, that's something that is huge for us, um, that's much needed in this town. Bill, you st uh, I believe started in uh, home mortgage uh, lending mm -hmm. in your banking career and then moved through, through all uh, facets of it, most recently in commercial uh, uh, l lending. What's going to be your, your focus uh, in your new position? Commercial lending. It'll be a combination, same as County National. It'll be commercial lending and um, business development. My original background in banking was um, I did spend a good degree of time at, in the commercial and credit loan department at uh, Citibank and Trust. That's where I started my banking yep. career. And as an executive trainee, that program would send you through the entire bank, through every department. And so sometimes I get the question, how much do you know? How do you know so much about banking? I, like, I know a little bit about everything, <laughs> but um, you're right. The, the company is only as good as the people and staff it has. And uh, between Brandy Titus, Buzz Leach, John, and myself, we have a good nucleus of a strong community bank. So John, the, uh, the bank is, well it's, well, it's new to the two of you as employer, it's, it's new to the community. Um, what's going to be, uh, how do you define, uh, does it have a personality? What, what do you want the bank to be in, in Jackson? Traditional community banking is what we are good at and that's what it brings. I mean, the bank's been around for 150 years, never closed its door, uh, never, uh, Great Depression never closed uh, in 2008, 9, 10. No, uh, no government assistance, no TARP money, and uh, helped significantly um, with PPP during the last few years. Um, good service, good community banking. We, we will offer um, the same types of products that we've offered for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. And same thing, community involvement, and you know, we were both born and raised here, lived here still around. Mm -hmm. We want to provide easy access to capital to small businesses in mm -hmm. this town. That's what we've been doing for quite a while now. And uh, that's one thing was my main question uh, was, you know, are you going to be willing to go out on limb for some of our Jackson businesses when we need it? And they were absolutely 100% uh, behind and have been ever since we've joined everything we've wanted to do. And so, um, you know, it's it's been good so far and I think it'll be good for Jackson. I think it'll raise service levels across the board in commercial lending and commercial loan services in general, but um, across the whole banking spectrum. We have a good banking town. I mean, between the combination of credit unions and the banks we have, um, I think the community is pretty well served, but you can always do better. Will you be the, the committee? Will you be part of the decision? We do. We, we will be. We're on loan committee. We're on uh, decision making and voting and, and loan requests and preparation of uh, preparation of requests. And uh, we do. Uh, one of the things when when we started was a question of okay, will there be will there be a director in Jackson? And they, they said yes. We'll work on that. And 
it's been done. They delivered, and we added a, a Jackson-based director a couple weeks ago. So Jackson does have very strong representation um, at the corporate board level. We get a lot of questions, okay, when we want to see brick and mortar. You know, when, when will that be open? So with, with the things that are coming, the loan production office, the, the renovations and opening of the, uh, the branch here downtown, and then the land purchase, and then a director, you know, we've, the corporation is committed and, and we've been around a while. I think you know us, we're committed to our town. We're Jackson guys. Well, as busy as you've been in the last few months, I think it's about to get busier. <laughs> we hope so. Looking forward to 2023. Yeah, well, uh, best wishes and, uh, and good luck. And great to see you both. Thanks for coming in. Thank and you. go blue. <laughs> it's game week. Are you, you're not going, are you? No. Oh. Nope. I've run into about five people that they're uh, already headed out there. Wow, really? Yeah. Good for them. That's nice. So it's a big risk. I mean, you know, to plan for two games at cert certain times that might not <laughs> happen at those times. Let's just stay tuned. Are you wearing anything new from Christmas? Uh, not that you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. Happy uh, New Year to you, thanks. The uh, Jackson Market President John Waldron and Senior Vice President Bill George, Southern Michigan Bank and Trust. We have some celebrating to do next. The 